the latest on Yellowstone volcano, the supervolcano eruption, how Yellowstone earthquake swarm was caused by water. Yellowstone National Park hit by a mega swarm last year, and since then the scientists have been analyzing data to discover what the real reason was behind all this. This is by Amani Hughes on Express UK. Last June, an earthquake swarm of over 2,500 tre tremors over the three months was recorded at Yellowstone National Park. This is, of course, the location of the supervolcano. They are regular currents where the swarm makes up about 50% of seismic activity. However, last month, another swarm was monitored in the same exact area of the 2017 swarm. A total of 126 earthquakes were recorded only in November. The 2017 mega swarm was the biggest and longest swarm on record and only came to an end at the start of October after beginning in June. But the reasons these swarms happen in the first place has been analyzed by experts and the reason they occur they think has now been revealed. David Shelley, the seismologist at the United States Geological Society, USGS, wrote a blog post about what they found in the Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles. He says the seismic network at the Yellowstone supervolcano has been upgraded to the swarm. The swarm could be analyzed in further detail, and the experts precisely locate each tremor, allowing them to create a map where each earthquake occurred and to show how the swarm moved. He wrote, the patterns of seismicity from the swarm in time and place that have been revealed from this processing are striking. The swarm involved numerous fault structures over its course. Many of the faults are parallel and oriented along east-northeast trends. However, some faults with orientations that are nearly perpendicular to those trends were also activated. So they were crisscrossing each other. He goes on to say, over the three months of the swarm, seismicity migrated outward from its initial activation area, both laterally and in depth. At times, this migration was rapid. At other times, it was slow. Shelley said the movement did not match up with movement of magma. Instead, he said, it appears a swarm was caused not by magma, but by water, and that the water was diffusing through small cracks in the subsurface of the area. He said, because this water is under great pressure in the deep crust where it's released, it tends to migrate upward and sometimes laterally. When it interacts with cooler, more brittle rocks stressed by tectonic and volcanic processes, this water may trigger earthquakes. In fact, earthquakes themselves may allow the, flow, the fluid to migrate more efficiently through faults in the rock. But he disputed that the 2017 swarm could highlight an increased risk of eruption. Even though the mega swarm was larger than average, the swarm happened on its own without signs of unrest, like surface deformation or changes to gas emissions. So there is no added risk of eruption, he says. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.